the world of drones is evolving at an incredible pace. And in 2025, DJI seems poised to dominate the conversation once again with what might be its most surprising and accessible release yet, the DJI Neo 2. Following months of leaks, speculation, and subtle teases hidden in field test footage, the Neo 2 has become one of the most anticipated compact drones of the year. Unlike the headline-grabbing professional flagships such as the Inspire or the Mavic 3 Pro, the Neo line sits in a different league altogether, one that bridges the gap between casual hobbyists, social media creators, and FPV enthusiasts who crave performance in a palm-sized package. The first Neo, launched in September 2024, quickly gained a cult following for being both incredibly fun and surprisingly capable. It was small enough to fit in a jacket pocket, yet powerful enough to deliver 4K 30fps footage, intuitive controls, and robust obstacle avoidance for its size. But like any first-generation product, it wasn't perfect. Limited battery life, low-light instability, propeller noise, and light wind susceptibility were all common complaints. DJI listened carefully, so now with the Neo 2, the company aims to redefine what a mini-selfie drone can do in 2025. Every detail leaked so far, from component labels to flight test videos, suggests this is not just an incremental update, but a meaningful evolution built from the ground up. The most intriguing early clue came from a product label leak showing a Class 1 laser warning, a small line of text that instantly set forums ablaze. According to international laser safety standards, Class 1 lasers are harmless to human eyes, which means DJI could be incorporating a new laser-based infrared distance sensing or obstacle avoidance system. This is likely a 3D infrared sensor with a detection range of roughly 8 meters, similar to what appeared on the DJI Flip, a product that integrated cutting-edge proximity mapping for safer indoor flight. The challenge, however, lies in design. The original Neo's front section was so compact that adding a forward-facing sensor seemed nearly impossible. To accommodate this, leaks point to a raised bump on the top housing of the Neo 2, a subtle design choice that would give the internal sensor array enough clearance to function effectively while maintaining aerodynamic stability. In an industry where every gram matters, such a modification signals serious engineering ingenuity. This theory gained traction when drone analyst Igor Bogdanov posted a frame from a behind-the-scenes video of the Avatar 3 prototype. Eagle-eyed fans noticed a small drone taped up in the corner, later identified as the Neo 2. The taped-up parts were likely there to conceal the new sensor module. Two days later, leaker Jasper Ellens confirmed that the Neo 2 features redesigned propeller guards and possibly a slightly bulkier front section, again reinforcing the raised housing hypothesis. Then came the big one. In July, videographer Maro Tandoy uploaded footage showing DJI field teams testing both the Mini 5 Pro and what appeared to be three Neo 2 units flying side by side. The footage wasn't crystal clear, but it was enough to confirm that the Neo 2 has a subtly altered chassis. The front is visibly more prominent, hinting at new internal architecture and perhaps more advanced cooling or optical components. Another significant discovery from the label was the upgraded battery rating, 1660 Mahdi, at 11.5W, compared to the Neo 1's 1035 Ma at 10.5W. At first glance, that's a modest 9.5% boost, translating to roughly an extra 1 minute and 40 seconds of flight, moving from 18 minutes to about 19.7. But raw numbers don't tell the whole story. DJI's recent engineering strides, particularly evident in the Mini 5's design, demonstrate how optimization can squeeze much more endurance out of a similar power profile. By improving energy density, motor efficiency, and aerodynamic shaping, DJI might easily push the Neo 2's practical flight time to between 20 and 23 minutes, an impressive figure for a sub-200 gram drone. To put this in perspective, some third-party modders in China have already tested 2,500 milliliters of ultra batteries on Neo 1 frames, gaining nearly double flight time with only 30 grams of added weight. If DJI has refined its cell chemistry and voltage management, 23-minute endurance sounds entirely plausible. Of course, flight time alone won't excite creators unless paired with a capable camera system, and this is where expectations are soaring. The Neo 1 shipped with a 1 2-inch 12MP sensor capable of 4K 30fps video at 75Mbps bitrate. Decent for quick content, but it struggled in dim lighting and lacked dynamic range. Rumors now point to a 1 1.3-inch CMOS sensor, possibly borrowed from the DJI Flip, boasting 48 megapixels and 4K recording at up to 60fps with 150Mbps bitrate. That's not just a spec bump. 
It's a creative leap. The larger sensor captures nearly 80% more light per pixel, producing smoother gradients, sharper details, and more accurate color reproduction, even at dusk or indoors. This would allow the Neo 2 to deliver truly cinematic vertical shots tailor-made for platforms like TikTok Reels and YouTube Shorts, directly appealing to the creator generation that made the first Neo so successful. Despite the new imaging muscle, DJI is likely keeping the Neo 2's gimbal to a single mechanical axis, supplemented by advanced electronic stabilization. Why, wait in simplicity. Adding a three-axis mechanical gimbal would push the drone beyond its ultralight category and complicate the folding design. Instead, DJI's software engineers are betting on refined EIS and gyro flow algorithms to deliver stable, horizon-locked video even during aggressive motion. The larger sensor also provides extra pixels for digital reframing, allowing subtle electronic corrections without noticeable loss in quality. For casual users, this translates to smoother footage and perfectly leveled selfies even when flying one-handed. One critical pain point with the original Neo was its struggle in low light or indoor scenarios. Without sufficient ambient illumination, its visual positioning system became erratic, leading to drifting or loss of hover stability. DJI could fix this in multiple ways. The simplest solution, and one fans are hoping for, would be an integrated LED assistance light under the body, illuminating the surface below for optical flow sensors to maintain lock. A more advanced approach would be a revamped positioning array using infrared and TOF sensors similar to those on the Air 3, giving it precise stability even in pitch black environments. Combine this with the rumored Class 1 laser sensor on the top, and the Neo 2 could achieve omnidirectional spatial awareness, a first in its weight class. Sound has also been a topic of community debate. The Neo 1's propellers produced a high-pitched whine that, while common in mini drones, was notably harsher due to small two-blade prop designs. DJI has a history of tackling acoustic issues with aerodynamic tweaks, and it's almost certain the Neo 2 will debut redesigned three-blade propellers with a curved leading edge to smooth airflow and lower decibel output. Leaked parts suggest slightly longer propellers with softer composite materials, which would also increase efficiency at lower RPMs. Reducing noise not only makes flights more pleasant for the user, but also minimizes disturbance in populated or wildlife-sensitive areas like a growing consideration as regulations tighten worldwide. When it comes to transmission, the Neo 2 inherits DJI's OcuSync 4 system, the same robust link used in the Mini 4 and Avatar 3. With 1080p live feed transmission at 60 FPS and up to 20 Mbps bandwidth, it ensures ultra-low latency control even in urban interference. The Neo 1 was already impressive in this regard, but battery and heat limits capped performance. With improved power management, the Neo 2 should achieve longer range and fewer dropouts. Expect a maximum distance of 10 kilometers in FCC regions and 6 kilometers in CE zones, numbers that put it on par with much larger drones. Weight has always been a defining characteristic of the Neo series. The original's 135 grams made it feather light, but also vulnerable to wind gusts. The Neo 2's slight increase to an estimated 180 grams will be a blessing in disguise, enhancing inertia and stability while still keeping it under many countries, 250 gram regulatory threshold. This sweet spot makes it a powerful travel companion that can be flown almost anywhere without special registration, perfect for spontaneous creators. Wind resistance up to level 5, around 10 ms, will make outdoor footage significantly smoother. Control flexibility remains one of the Neo's biggest strengths, and DJI is smart enough not to mess with success. The Neo 2 retains all the multiple control options that made the original such a joy to use. App-based virtual joystick mode for casual pilots, gesture recognition for hands-free selfies, voice command activation with hey, fly, and full compatibility with FPV controllers. Like the RC Motion 3 and DJI FPV controller. 3. Advanced users will also be able to pair the Neo 2 with Goggles 3 or Goggles N3 for immersive first-person flight. This cross-ecosystem integration shows DJI's ongoing commitment to unifying its product line, making even an entry-level drone part of its broader FPV and cinematic workflow.